I'm off the rocky coast of Maine, heading toward the island of Matinicus, alone. My Egyptology professor, Dr. Hargrove, was always recounting his trips to Northern Africa in the 1930s and his search for a mystical water clock from the dynasty of the Pharaoh Ramses. The clock supposedly had powers to grant everlasting life, claimed he found it once, but whatever Hargrove found mysteriously disappeared after a visit by the expedition's patron, Tess Conway. I picked up the trail where Hargrove left off. It has led me to Eris Tess Conway's island estate. Tess was obsessed with the occult. Her greed drew her toward Duncan DeVries, a debonair two-bit smuggler. In its heyday, the Conway estate hosted wild, extravagant parties. It has been deserted for decades. Tess and her society friends disappeared in 1932, on the night of the summer solstice. I'm just getting my first glimpse of the house. The weather's getting worse, but I'm almost ashore. I fear my life may be in danger, but I have come prepared. Hmm, that's strange. My watch has stopped. I'm gonna need you down at the dock tonight. We're expecting another shipment of arms. Well, boss, where am I gonna put all this stuff? I mean, the storage room is almost full. I can't even walk in there. I guess you'll just have to stash it around the grounds. Well, I don't like it. I mean, booze was one thing, but guns, I, I don't know. Quit worrying, Mike. Our new associates from Chicago will be here this evening to take the guns off the island. They will pay us handsomely for the arms. If they have new contacts. We can expand. This is only the beginning. <laughs> 